The next pro tip that I want to cover is a pretty quick one. We're going to talk about hiding individual workbook elements to help reduce clutter. So in the view tab of your ribbon, you'll see a group of check boxes under the show category it looks something like this. And that group of check boxes allows you to hide individual elements from view, including grid lines, the formula bar, or the headings themselves, the row and column headings. Um, you can also collapse the ribbon itself from view. Uh, there's a little carrot icon in the lower right corner and then pin it back in place uh, by selecting a tab and then pinning where that carrot icon was. Um, I'll show you exactly what that looks like in just a second. But basically the idea here is to take something that looks like this, which you know is obviously designed to be a polished user facing report or dashboard, um, but it still feels very much like a spreadsheet. You've got the formula bar, You've got your row and column headers, you're looking at your grid line, so it feels very much like a spreadsheet. And I really want to make this uh, appear to be a, a cleaner, uh, more polished report, it's something like this. So by simply turning off the grid lines, hiding the formula bar and the headings, and collapsing the ribbon, you end up with something like this that feels more like something you'd see uh, coming out of a BI tool like a Tableau or a Power BI even though we're still here within the Excel environment. So easy tip, but also a very helpful one, especially if you work in analytics and you build reports and dashboards like this. Uh, one quick thing to note, uh, some of those settings, grid lines and headings specifically, only impact the sheet that you're on, uh, but others like the formula bar and the ribbon uh, collapsing or the ribbon settings, those impact uh, every sheet in the entire workbook. So uh, just keep that in mind. And then again, common use cases, creating those clean and polished, kind of like dashboard style views. And then also uh, hiding those uh, grid lines and headers help to prevent users from actually modifying rows, columns, or formulas in your tool. So with that, let's jump into Excel and I'll show you how to hide some of these workbook elements. Okay, so here we are in the pro tip workbook. We're gonna go to hidden workbook elements in our formatting tip section, press link, You'll jump to that hidden workbook element tab. And this is just like we described. We've got this user facing report with charts and uh, numbers and figures and insights, but it still feels like a spreadsheet. You know, I can still see the cells and the headers and the formula bar. Um, so all we're gonna do is head to our view tab. We're gonna deselect the grid lines. You know, that alone makes a huge difference. We're gonna deselect those headings because we don't wanna be adding or modifying rows and columns at this point. And those two changes that I just made, grid lines and headings, you'll notice if you click on other tabs, does not impact those other worksheets, right? So I still see the grid lines and the headings here in my snapped grid tab, but not in my hidden workbook element tab. By contrast, if I uncheck the formula bar, that's a change that impacts every single worksheet. So now I don't have access to that formula bar anywhere else in this file. So just keep that in mind. Same thing goes for collapsing the ribbon. I can go all the way over to this little carrot icon, press it to collapse that ribbon, and now I'm left with kind of this blank, clean canvas. And to get my ribbon back, all I need to do is navigate into any one of these tabs, and that will kind of temporarily pull my ribbon back. And where that carrot icon was, it's now a little pin. All you've got to do is click that pin, and now it's fixed back in my worksheet. So there you have it, it's as simple as that. That's how you can hide individual worksheet elements to create these kinds of polished reports or reduce clutter in your worksheets.